Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Brother Jay Kwan coming at you with a quick quick on video. Topic today this video is gonna be importance of prayer. Right? And first I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to the most high being Yahweh. Uh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shah being the name of, of the real name of Jesus Christ, man. So this is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 17. Pray without ceasing. Right, man. So you're praying, you're praying all the time, man. You know what I mean? Um, pray seven times a day, man. You know, that's the number of completion, right? You're praying, um, you know, you're praying, you're facing the east, man. You know what I mean? We got a video on, on how to pray, but I'm going to run through it real quick. You know, pray, pray facing the east. If you're a man, you have your head uncovered. If you're a woman, cover your head. Or you're gonna dishonor your head, you know. Um, you know, face the east, face the Jeru uh, face Jerusalem, right? You praying at least three times a day, man. At least three times, right? Because you gotta pray without season, man. Pray in the morning. Pray after you eat. Pray before you go to work. Pray on your break. You know, pray um when you get home. Pray again when you shower. You know, pray when um. Before you go to bed, right? So you constantly praying and, and you praying and you keeping in the spirit, praying for forgiveness, praying for uh, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, faith. You know, because faith right now is gonna play a big part in the times we in, man. And that's why I'm making this video, man, because praying keeps your faith and keeps your faith up when you ask for it and keeps you know that spiritual keep that spiritual light burning, man. Verse eighteen and everything give thanks, right, man? So everything give thanks, man. Thank you that I'm eating. Thank you that I'm at work. You know, thank you that I'm alive. Thank you that I woke up today. You know, thank you for not killing me. Thank you, you know, just constantly giving thanks for everything, man. And everything give thanks for this is the will of Yahweh in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah concerning you. So everybody, man, you know what I mean? Everybody, the most high dealing with everybody individually, man. All Yahshua differently, man. Right? So you got to give thanks, man, because it's the will of the most high that you made it to work. It's the will of the most high that you out there in the highways and the hedges giving the word. You watching videos, making videos, um, you know, writing down notes, taking notes, sewing fringes, wearing fringes, everything. It's like it. So it's the will of the most high that you're doing what you're doing, man. Verse 19, quench not the spirit. So when you, when you, you know, don't quench the spirit of the thirst, man. Get this the spirit of living waters, man. Praying, reading. You know, this is the milk, bread, and honey, man, that you need, right? So quench not the spirit, man. You got to read and you got to pray, man. This is Luke. Luke 18 and verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint, right? So he said, man, it's always to pray, man. You know what I mean? Always stay in prayer, man. Always keeping in contact with the Most High. Because what if you... You know, you, you stop talking to a friend for a couple of days, and all of a sudden you need something. Think about like, man, this dude fake, bro. He only hit me up when he needs something. That's crazy. You know what I mean? So, you know, just like the Most High, you know, you know, calling on the Most High only when you need something. You know, when you when you uh when you know when you good and you got money and oh uh you know you good and you feel like you don't need the Most High, but once you want some drama, oh Lord, please forgive me and oh um give me out this trouble and give me out the jam and. Oh, Lord, I'm sorry, this and this and that. And then turn around when, oh, that was a relief. You know what I mean? Oh, thank the Most High because I just prayed about that and he got me out the jam. And, whew, you know, he's not a magic gene, man. You know what I mean? He's not He's not the fairy eye parents when you, oh, I wish, I wish, I wish, and boom, you know? No, man. You know what I mean? You constantly in prayer, man. Keep in contact with the Most High, man. Let him know that you love him and, and you know what I'm saying? And he's going to show you that love back. Right, so this is Matthew. And most how I will end this video is quick, you know what I mean? Because I just want to touch on a couple things, man. Making sure y'all should all in your prayer, man. Because times is getting tough, man. You know what I mean? I'm not going to lie, man. It's some scary times happening, man. You know what I mean? This would shake the toughest dude, man. The things that you see would, would shake the, the strongest, most fearless man, all right? Because when that Lord come down, ain't no, it's not going to be no man that's like, huh? Eh, nothing I didn't see before. Huh? Eh. Uh, that's nothing. Whatever. I don't care. No, man. Ain't gonna be nobody like that. Everybody gonna be shaking and, oh, man. Oh, I hope I'm making that. Oh, my God. This is the times where I know I read this, but, oh, my gosh. This is scary, scary. Right? 
So ain't no man that's going when the Most High come down and when Eric Jacobs trouble ball down. Ain't no man that's gonna be fearless, man. There's scary times, man. So we gotta pray and keep the faith, man. Keep that spiritual light burning, man. Don't take off your fringes, man. Don't tuck them in. Don't shave your beard off. Don't start eating pork and you know trying to walk around with a bacon eater half open and oh I got bacon in my hand. You know what I mean? So so uh, hopefully um you know hoping that you know you're not getting about to get put to death. You know. This is Matthew 26 and verse 41. Watch and pray. So watch, man. Watch what's going down, man. Watch the times balling out. Watch, you know, watch the prophecies coming to pass, man. Coronavirus. You know, Paris um, out there burning down train stations and fighting the firefighters that's coming to put out the fire, man. Right? What's that leading to, man? That's leading to martial law, man. Worldwide martial law, man. Right? The police out here and, and, and will riot shields and... And, and guns with live ammo, and they ready to shoot everybody down, and, you know what I mean, they're gonna be stepping on, a, stomping people out, and, you know, beating people to death, and, you know, tear gas, and, um, and, you know, once that hit America, you know, everybody comfortable in America, what you gonna do, McDonald's is closed down, you know, you can't get that McChicken no more, Wendy's, and Burger King, and Popeye's, you know, they're getting ravished, people going in there for looking for something to eat, and Wawa's is closed, and getting bust down, and, and, uh, um, you know, et cetera, the banks, you can't go to the banks, you can't use your bank app, and you're not getting paid no more, your, every job is closed, and your kid not going to school, and, you know, everybody busting and down, and shooting, and you hear gunshots all through the types of day, and police not worried about it, and, you know, they, they out protecting certain neighborhoods or something, you know, they only worry about government officials, you know, police watching their own back, you know what I mean, you can't pick up and say 911, some dude just got shot, right? They not even gonna pick up in those days, man. Alright, so you gotta pray, man. Watch and pray, man. Pray that you keep the faith. Pray that, you know, pray that the most high save you in these last days, man. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. Pray that you not enter into temptation, man. Why? Because temptation, um, once you get into temptation, you sin. And what's sin, man? Sin is death, man. Transgression the law, man. Right? So once you sin, man, sin is death, man. Right? You don't want to be put to death in those last days, man. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm so hungry. F it, man. I'm just going to cook this pork, man. The Lord God don't have to forgive me. Whatever, man. I got a pack of pork chops left, and I'm just going to eat it, man. Whatever. The most high, the most high don't have to forgive me. No, man, because in those last days, you get caught slipping. You're done, man. You know what I mean? The light going to come down. You know, the Lord going to you know, lick his fingers, put out your light, man. That's it. You done. You know what I mean? You got to stay. Keep the faith, man. Keep the faith, man. Constantly praying, man. Right? So, watch. Uh, so, like, yeah, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Right, man? So, the the spirit, man, is willing, man. The spirit wants to pray. It wants to keep the Sabbath. It wants to watch videos and make videos and give the word all day, man. But your flesh wants to smoke, lay up, be lazy, sleep, play the game. It wants to smoke and get high and get drunk and have sex all day, man. Right, that's what the spirit wants. I mean, does the flesh wants wants wickedness, right? And the flesh wants to do good, man. And your spirit, you feel it in your chest. You're like, man, I wanna, I wanna pray, man. I, I wish I could do that, man. I wish I could just live and, you know, not worry about lust coming in my my head and worry about this and worry about that, man. Now I mean, that's your spirit calling out and crying, saying you need to get right, you need to get right. But the flesh, man, just whatever, man. That blunt just too strong, man. I'm just gonna. Hold it up, man. Whatever, man. I'm going to live another day. You know what I mean? Oh, I hope to live another day. No, nah, I mean, that's what the flesh wants to do, bro. Right? So, this is Job 35, man. Job chapter 35 and 13, man. Job chapter 35 and verse 13. Surely God will not hear vanity, neither will the Almighty regard it. Right, man. So when you praying, bro, you're not praying, oh Lord, um, I know we in the last days, but can I just get the new Jordans when they come out? Oh Lord, please let me let me let me reach 10 mil in GTA first, please. Oh Lord, please. No, man, you're not playing for vanity, man. You're not waking up to, oh Lord, please. I'm tired of this old Honda. Put me in a new Bugatti before I die and before you come. And you know what I'm saying? Oh, I love that BMW. Let me get the, the Dodge Hellcat first. And oh Lord, no, man, the Lord not hearing that, man. He not hearing none of that. He not going to regard it. You know what I mean? He might have something bad happen to you because you're praying for vanity like that, wasting his time. 
Now I mean, wasting your own damn time on a prayer, man. Instead, you should be praying for spiritual things, wisdom, spiritual knowledge, and understanding, man. Right? Faith, man. Faith and forgiveness, man. Faith and forgiveness, man. The top, I mean, y'all should be throwing it up every time, man. When you pray, you know, pray for forgiveness. Then pray for faith. Then pray for forgiveness again. Then pray for faith. Then pray for, you know what I'm saying? You should be praying for those, man. Because you can have all the knowledge of the wisdom of the world. You, oh, that's in Revelation. That's in Proverbs. That's in First John and Isaiah and Jeremiah. You know what I mean? You can have all those precepts, but once your faith is low, you gonna, you gonna you know what I'm saying? You're going to fall out, man. You know what I mean? So pray for faith and forgiveness, man. Because once you got that faith, you know, I know everything's going down. I know the coronavirus is here, and I ain't got no job no more, but... The most high got me. The most high got me. Most high women. Most high women. I got this. I got this. That's your faith, man. Your faith in the most high, man. Right? And so like you. And forgiveness, man. Right? Because without forgiveness, you done anyway. So you want to pray for constantly praying for forgiveness and faith, man. Right? Faith that you're going to be saved and forgiveness that the most high spare your life, man. Right? It's going to be a blessing if you see that guillotine, man. If you see that guillotine smile, man. Scream Kwame Asha'Allah, man, because, you know what I'm saying, if you see that, if you see that you about to be put to death because you don't want to take off your fringes because you're an Israelite, man, and you're proud to be an Israelite, man, that's a that's a blessing to die for the Most High, man. I hope I die for the Most High, man. Everybody in, in Israel, man, in the truth, hoping they die for the Most High, man. That's a blessing, man, right? So, I'm going I'm to, I'm 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 we're going to, I'm going to show y'all, man, how we supposed to, like, you know what I mean, because... I just read, you know, don't pray for vanity, man. So we're gonna wait. Uh, we're gonna pray what you're supposed to pray for, man. First, let me get this in Psalm 32. Psalm 32 and verse five. Come, huh. Psalm 32 and verse five. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. And thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Salah. Right, man. So, when you pray, man, confess your transgressions, man. Right? You're not going to say, oh, man, I broke the Sabbath, but I'm just going to pray because I ate pork by accident. You know what I'm saying? I ate them gummy bears. I forgot they had pork in it. You know, I ate them Skittles that, you know, that was made with, um, I mean, the Starburst that's made with pork. I forgot. You know what I mean? No, man. If you pray, if you if you know your sins that you broke the Sabbath, pray that you sorry for breaking the Sabbath, man. Remember that that, that dude got put to death in numbers, man. Right? The reason the reason why we even wear fringes, man. Right? Pray that you you know. Oh, I forgot. I wasn't supposed to shave my beard. Pray, man. Pray and uh, pray to the Most High, man. Because no death is littler than the other. Oh, he just shaved his beard, whatever. No, man. The Most High don't see it that way. He said he shaved his beard. All right, I got something for him. At least he repent. Right? Oh, he ate pork? Oh, I got something for him, right? Let's see if I'm going to save him in these last days. At least he repent, right? You know what I mean? Oh, he smoked again? Okay, I got something for him. At least he repent, right? So you got to constantly be repenting, man, because you might be going off. Your thoughts, you going off, and you don't know, and you're not repenting. you just asking for faith and forgive, uh, faith and wisdom and stuff. Man. If you don't got forgiveness, all that is done with, man. I mean, if, if you're not going to be forgiven at the end of, the, at the end of all this, then all that was for nothing, man. This is Psalm 51. From the top. Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. So he's asking for him to ask for him to blot out your transgressions, man. Right? Transgression what? Trans transgression the law. Right? Breaking the commandments. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. So, you know, cleanse me, Lord. Forgive me just... Take that iniquity, you know, all the sins you have written down, rip it up, you know what I'm saying, burn it up and, you know, ball it up, you know, throw it in the garbage, man. You know what I'm saying, cleanse me, you know, give me a new sheet, you know what I'm saying, for I acknowledge my transgressions, right? So notice how we got to acknowledge your transgressions, man, and my sin is ever before me. Is your sin is ever before you because you're going to remember your sins, man. You're going to say, damn, I did break the Sabbath that day, man, so I don't even know if I'm going to make it. Damn, man. So that's where the faith come in, man. You know what I mean? But, damn, man. I did do this. I did used to be like this. Damn, man. I have to think about this. And I did hit up shorty, man. I don't know if I should have did that. Right? Verse 4. Against thee, the only have I sinned. Right? So we're not sinning against Allah. Who the hell would Allah, man? We're not sinning against Caesar Borgia, man. Right? We're sinning against the Most High, man. 
and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest, right? So we saying, you know, cleanse me of my sin, man. Acknowledge my sin. Cleanse me of my sin so you could be clear and judge me you know, in righteousness, man. You know what I'm saying? Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and the sin that my mother conceived me. Right, man? So we was born in the flesh. We were going to go off, man. We're going to um, have lustful thoughts, especially in the days and days now. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have sodomy growing at an all-time high, man. You're going to have brothers growing, uh, falling out the truth and dating trannies, man. Right? So you're going to have, uh, you know, fallouts and brothers getting swift, sifted out the truth. And you know what I mean? So behold, I was shaping in iniquity and the sin that my mother conceived me, man. Man, you know, we we born in the flesh, man. We're going to go off, man. But the important thing about this video is praying, man. Forgiveness, man. Right? Like I said, you could pray for faith and, you know what I mean, uh, wisdom and, you know what I'm saying, uh, how, to, how to break things down. So when you go out, you can break it down because people been asking a lot about the questions on on the highways and hedges and you don't know how to break it down. Pray that the most high give you that knowledge, man. You know what I mean? So everything is different. You know what I mean? I'm going to jump to verse, um, verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Right, because what's the heart? most deceitful, wicked thing in your body, man. Because your heart wants to love everybody. Your heart wants to, oh, I love everybody. And, oh, Esau needs to get the kingdom too. That's not fair. And, oh, you know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I'm going to smoke all day. That's not fair. And, oh, I want to play my game while Sabbath. If that's the only day I got off of work, man, that ain't fair, man. You know what I mean? Come on now. You know what I mean? Your heart wants to do wicked things, man. So he said, creating a clean heart within me, oh, oh Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Give you a new spirit, man, to, to, to keep pushing on in this truth, man. Give you a stronger spirit, man. Right? And I'm going to read, I'm gonna read uh, like, a, a little bit from the, it's called the Prayer of Manessa and the Apocrypha, man. Yo, this prayer, prayer is so powerful. I, I, I honestly love this prayer so much, yo. I love this prayer so much. I'm going to start from down here. Um... Prayer of Manessa, it don't it don't have no verses in it. It's just a long prayer. Some stuff from right here. Thou O Adon. Thou O Adon, according to thy great goodness, hast promised repentance and forgiveness to them that have sinned against thee. So he promised repentance and forgiveness to them that have sinned against thee, man. And of thine infinite mercies and appointed repentance unto sinners. That they may be saved. Thou, therefore, O Adon, thou art the God of the just, has not appointed repentance to the just as to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, which have not sinned against thee, but thou hast appointed repentance unto me, a sinner, for I have sinned above the number of the sands of the sea. My transgressions, O Adon, are multiplied, my transgressions are multiplied, and I am not worthy. To behold and see the height of heaven for the multitude of mine iniquities. Right? So he's saying, man, like, I have sinned up. I have sinned so many sins. And, you know, I have, I have done so much wicked. And I'm not I'm not worthy to see heaven, man. I'm not worthy. So when you pray, don't be don't be scared to say, Lord, I'm, I'm deserving of death and punishment. I'm deserving of your anger that you have kindled against me, Lord. Like, I'm deserving of, of the death and the punishment and the evil you got stored for me. But I'm asking you to forgive me for my iniquities. And then, you know, um, to say your iniquities, man. Say your sins. I am bowed down with many iron bands. You know, the iron bands you read in um, Isaiah 58. Let me see if I can get it. Most of them I can. Isaiah 58 verse 6 all praises is this, is not this that uh, the fast that I have chosen to loosen the bands of wickedness so when he's saying I am bowed down with many iron bands that's the bands of the wickedness you sin on you I am bowed down with many iron bands that I cannot lift up my head neither you know lift up your head meaning like not literally like, oh, my head, my neck is getting heavy. I think it's the, the spiritual iron bands on me. No, man. That he's talking about, he's talking about, um, you know, saying lift up your head with pride. You know what I'm saying? Lift up your head. You know what I mean? Walking with pride and just not. Yeah, man. I'm a sinner now. I'm useless. No, man. You know what I'm saying? He's saying I can't lift up my head, man. I can't, I can't be, you know, prideful. 
Not saying, oh, I'm I'm perfectly centered and I just repent and I'm gonna make it. No, man, he's not talking about that kind of I'm not talking about that kind of pride. Anyway, I am bowed down with many iron bands that I cannot lift up my head, neither have any release, for I have provoked thy wrath and done evil before thee. I did not thy will, neither kept I thy commandments. I have set up abominations and have multiplied offenses. Now therefore I bow the knee of mine heart, beseeching thee of grace. I have sinned, O Adon, I have sinned. For I acknowledge mine iniquities. Right, man. So, like I said, man. Acknowledging your iniquities, man. Acknowledge them. Acknowledge them. Acknowledge them. That's key, man. Wherefore, I humbly beseech thee. Forgive me, O Yahweh. Forgive me and destroy me not with mine iniquities. Be not angry with me forever by reserving evil for me. Neither condemn me to the lower parts of the earth. Right. So, I'm, I'm going to end it there. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read the rest of the prayer, but. Right, so he's saying, forgive me, Lord, for destroy me not with the wrath you have. Destroy me not with the, so I can destroy me not with my iniquities, man. Right, so he's saying, destroy him not with the iniquities he had made, man. He said, he, he, you know, admit that you set up abominations, man. Right, admit that you, um, you know, that you done evil, that you broke the commandments, man. Acknowledge your sin unto the Most High, man. Prayer, 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 man. Yasha Ali, I should be throwing up, constantly praying in his truth, man. Don't fall out, man. And don't don't just be praying for yourself, man. Pray for um pray for your whole congregation, man. Pray for Israel, man. Pray for everybody. You know what I'm saying? In the middle of the day, you know, whether you, you pray six times a day, make sure that sixth prayer or that fourth prayer and you know, you praying six times a day, make sure one of those prayers is for your whole congregation, man. For Israel. You know, Lord, I hope the prayer the brothers and the sisters in this troop that's wearing fringes, you know what I'm saying? I just pray that they stay they stay strong in this truth, man. You know, give them the spirit that, you know, give them the spirit that they stay strong, you know. Renew all Yash, uh, renew all Israel's spirits, man. I'm, I'm praying for everybody. Please, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, when you pray, pray for all of Israel. Don't just be praying for yourself, right? Because, you know what I'm saying? That's a good thing you you pray for. You pray for everybody, right? So, I'm going to end it there, though. Um, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai, Kwam, Yahshua, Allah, Shalom.